Welcome back. We've got Ren here in the group now. After playing a bit of hide and seek. So, let's actually see if we can any new dialogue open up as we wander around through the rounds once again with her in the group. I imagine there's something somewhere, surely. A royal army bigwig passed by a bit ago. Oh. He was wearing a military uniform, but he seemed like a very gentle person. Just like a kindly dad. Who could that be? <laughs> Just as I thought, Troy was getting sidetracked. <laughs> Oops, uh, late again. Hmm? Hey, you. You in the white. Do you mean me? Yeah, you. Are you gonna come say hi? Oh. Why do I have to say hello to you? Everyone who comes to this town has to come say hi to me. Hmm. I don't want to. <laughs> what did you? After all, my papa said a gentleman always introduces himself first. I don't want to be friends with someone who doesn't practice common courtesy. <laughs> Triple dot. Well, what are you staring at me for? Fine, I'll let you off today. You can go away. Oh my. There's a pretty complex sewer system here in Gransel. A number of passages used for maintenance are scattered about the city. So you can probably go in there. Rumor has it it's full of monsters though, so I can't say I recommend it. And sewers are full of monsters, so you shouldn't go there. You said it was a rumor a minute ago, but hold on a minute. The only people who can go in there are those crazy bracer types on extermination missions. Yeah. Apparently the Royal Army is guarding the city since the signing ceremony for the pact is close. I wonder what Colonel Richards is doing nowadays. I believe the Colonel had some kind of reasoning behind his coup d'etat even now. Hmm. My life has been nothing but a parade of misfortune. My stand broke during the birthday celebration. My sales aren't going anywhere. Maybe I should go get exercised at the Septian Church. I mean, I, I, I don't think it'll actually do anything, but it'll make you have, like, peace of mind, wouldn't it? I saw General Cassius in front of the castle the other day. He's younger than General Morgan, but he's calm and has a certain gravity to him, I thought. Still, I was the hero of the Hundred Days' War acting as a bracer. Who knows? We do. Tom over at the factory is really skilled. I doubt there's anything he can't repair. Oh my, my, my. Hmm, what lovely weather today. I suppose. Not great, it's alright. I don't really think we need to go anywhere. I'd like to relax and take it easy sometimes. Where should we go today? This is the only problem I have with the NPCs. Sometimes I just get the dialogue the wrong way around. It's like, wait, what? And then, oh, oh, it makes sense now. You're welcome. Is this an open shop? It's got more things in the store near my house. Oh, are you from outside the country, little lady? In that case, why not buy a liberal ornament as a souvenir? Hmm, maybe. But at the moment I'm stuck inside Olivier, and I don't have any mirror right now. Papa and Mama come get me. I'll come again. Sure thing, kiddo. I'll be waiting. There we go. Fix that. Apparently Tom was up late last night doing some repair work he got asked to do. Doesn't get paid any better even if he does this extra stuff, you know? Yeah, but it's like... You, you, you get stuff from it in other regards. Again, it's like I'm after just... Maybe getting that action three. It's like, mm, it's like, mm, mm, I still need a quartz. I, I need more quartz, I feel. I'm, I'm on, on the precipice of something great, but I don't know what. I feel it. So this goes like this, and the wiring goes here. What are you doing here, mister? I'm fixing Helmuth's assortment. After all, it's important to him. He's had it for years, and it's full of memories. I want to fix it no matter what. Mm, you're great, mister. Huh? No, I mean, <laughs> thanks, it's kind of embarrassing to have, to have that said, but nice. Aww. Just fixing your repairs gets Zechariah angry at me, but 
Just got to ignore people in need. And I curl her and turns it out. I imagine they all do it, but yeah, look. It's just like how she did it on her own at that point. Like, oh, it's nice. Okay, so next up, weapon shop. Welcome to Vice Arms and Guards. My, my, what an adorable little girl. Who? Me. Yes, that's right. I wish I had a darling daughter like you. How about it? Want to become my child? I already have a papa and mama I love very much. Sorry, lady. <laughs> it was a joke. I wish I could at least give you some candy. Suddenly, all we have here are weapons. <laughs> Don't worry. Eh, uh, was a nice thought. If I had a daughter, we could go shopping and we could talk and everything, too. My husband is the silent type, so I wish he at least had a child. Oh, my. wonder if he knows this little detail. We're going to be on board, you know. Welcome. Go to my weapons, climb the stairs, and go to the front desk. My wife should be at the counter. No, like, get out of here. This is the, the back room. You're not meant to be here. Be gone from my sight. None of that. All right. She wants to... Oh, she wants me to pick up special edition books about the martial arts competition while I'm out shopping. Oh, I wish her only vice was her eating out. I mean, that could, that could go several ways. My wife apparently can't wait for the next martial arts competition. She's already trying to predict the winner. They haven't even decided who'll be participating yet. Yeah, that's, that's kind of strange. Is Brigadier General Bright the same hero from the Hundred Days War? Like, is he that Cassius Bright? No, that was Cassius Dark. Oh, I wonder how he'd do if he were in the martial arts competition. That'd be so cool. Time to do some research. Yes, yes, indeed. Calvin Spies. They're everywhere, I'm telling you. They're everywhere. That proved me wrong. Because I could be right. Apparently, Colonel Richard, the one behind the coup d'etat, is being imprisoned at Leiston Fortress. What's going to happen to the Colonel? He's behind a coup d'etat. Can't believe things won't go easy for him. It depends. Is that sort of thing like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's already been mentioned like this, this country is more merciful. So maybe 14,000 years of community service? Maybe? There's still a lot of people who are thinking about Colonel Richard, it seems. The Colonel comes up a lot in people's conversations, even now. Certainly he did something bad, but that just shows how much charm he had. Did I get the hot pot? Insufficient mirror anyway, so... Still a lot of people... Now who's napped me mirror? That's the question. Used it. I know, but... Who snapped it? Someone stole it. My, a non-aggression pact between the two, between not two, but three countries. Countries that are always at each other's throats at that. Who else but Queen Alicia could manage to have both the Empire and Republic agree to set aside their weapons in favor of peace? Her Majesty is the reason the Burl thrives as a country. I'm sure that pact will remain. And the reason my husband and I can live without worry is because of Her Majesty. I always have and always will be thankful for her. Hmm. Bep, 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 bep. I didn't mean to go in there. We're back, Alan. Oh. Hi, Estelle. That's just boss habit. Hello again, Miss Bright. We seem to be running into each other quite a bit these days. Oh, hey there, Colonel Sid. Ah, so Cassius sent you to help us. That makes sense. We came from Lyston, I'm guessing. That's right. Just arrived here a little while ago on one of our patrol ships. I apologize for the wait. No, it's okay. We actually had a little job of our own to take care of. Hmm? Speaking of... Which? Uh, would that young lady be... Oh, right, yeah, she is. Some stuff went down, so we had to bring her along. Hey, Ren? We've got some things we need to talk about with the army men. Can you go wait on the second floor? Oh, is this work stuff? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I don't mind. I just like Papa. Always work, work, work. Don't really like that very much. 
Hmm. Um, Ren, right? Do you want to talk for a little while? I want to get to know you. With you? Well, okay, I guess we could. <laughs> okay. We'll be on the second floor still. Well done, Tito, well done. You say by the Tita. Hmm. Well, you report on, your report on the situation can wait for now. Let's hear out Colonel Sid first. Sure. Go ahead, Colonel. Thank you. I'm in a hurry myself. So this is an official request from the Royal Army. There's a series of incidents we'd like you to investigate. Incidents? Why does this way... Why, why does the way you say that make me shiver a bit? You're aware of the non-aggression pact, yes? I'm afraid threatening letters have been delivered to all parties involved in the signing. Apparently, someone's threatening the treaty. That's that's not good at all. What did the letters say exactly? Please have a look. To all parties involved in the non-aggression pact, immediately back down from this act of deceit and false compromise. Should you not, a great disaster will be visited upon you. What in the? Oh, that isn't... Isn't very open to interpretation, is it? Is this the entire letter? Yes, that's the entire thing. As you may have noticed, there is no name or any other indication of a sender. Normally, I'd simply dismiss it as a prank. However... However, something about the situation makes you believe it's more than a bad joke, yes? Yes, it's the volume of letters... It's the volume of letters sent, you see. First arrived at Lyston Fortress. Copies were then sent out to the Airship Company, Glancel Cathedral, Hotel Lorenbaum, and the Laberle News Service. Faults got one. Can you believe it? Faults! Then copies arrived at both the Erebonian and Calvarian embassies, the Air Brovilla, and even Glancel Castle itself. Nine letters in total. You'd send that many letters? Yeah. That'd be a lot of work for a prank in poor taste. I can see why the army would start to get concerned. It's strange, though. The Esham Company and the Bell News, and even the Hotel and Cathedral. None of these locations have anything to do with the signing, do they? They are not totally unrelated, to be honest. The Esham Company shall be sending out charter vessels to ferry the Imperial and Republican officials here. They will, of course, be staying at the Rowan Balm. Furthermore, the Church, or specifically Archbishop Current of the Cathedral, has been asked to be an observer at the signing. And the Laval News has been preparing a special report on the pact and signing for weeks. This means it must be someone who knows all these details. So they are all connected somehow. But do we have any idea who's behind it? That could be a difficult question to answer. This is an international matter, meaning anyone from Laval, Erebonia, or Calvert could be responsible. But again, has to be someone who would know all these details, though in any of these three locations. How many people do? Yes, the war hawks in either the Empire or the Republic for starters. Could even be someone from another country entirely who isn't happy to see all three countries working together. Could be a spy. Calvert spy. Hmm. Of course, there are plenty of suspects in the burn as well. And we can't forget the obvious answer. The society. So what will we be investigating, Colonel? Right then. The mission. We would like you to investigate all the locations that have received the letters, and see if anyone has any further leads. Minus Lyston and Herb, that is. We'll handle those. The other seven locations are yours. Okay, we get seven, do we? Hmm. So, the Airship Company, Glancel Cathedral, Hotel Rowan Balm, the Laval News, Faults, the Erebonian Embassy, the Calvardian Embassy, and Glancel Castle. That would involve a bit of walking. More to the point, uniformed soldiers asking around would attract a great deal of unwanted attention. Now that, you're lack now that you lack an intelligence division, it makes sense to ask the guild to help investigate such matters. And embarrassing as the situation is, you're exactly right. Without a functional intelligence division, we are very limited in what we can do. However, the new general plan from the top brass is to have the guild help us with as many tasks as possible. This is simply one case of that. Yeah, really, thanks a heap, Dad. Now, now, take it as a sign of Cassius's faith in us. <laughs> I must admit, it was my request to ask for you, however. 
I've been placed in charge of the defense of the capital region until the signing ceremony. I would like as much information as I possibly can possibly obtain in order to prepare a proper defense. Can I ask you to take this job? Oh, well, I do want to help. But we're really kind of hip deep in another case at this point. That girl, right. Let us hear your report on that situation now. So my thoughts right now are very much like... This may explain, like, it's, pro it's probably the society it makes sense in this regard as to what's going on. I imagine that they're trying just to keep the army, etc. busy and away from the towers, which are, again, explain why they're not defended. They've been keeping them busy, keeping them away. Because they want to do something with them. Obviously. Obviously. So, sort of explains itself if you just look at the finer points. So let us hear your report on the situation now. Still explain the situation with Ren being abandoned at the Airbrewer Villa. I see, yes. An abandoned child is a problem you cannot simply ignore. Why would anyone do such a thing? It's kind of freaking me out, too. I actually met her parents once briefly. It seemed like this really thoughtful, loving couple. They adored Ren, from what I saw. I have to think something really, really serious happened to them to make them leave her. Possibly. May have gotten entangled in something and wanted to keep their child out of it. I do see an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, however. Huh? The Ren and her parents are foreigners, remember? You need to inquire to the hotel and embassies regardless. Yeah, I think I know where you're going with this. We leave her here and we carry on our, our other mission. Got it! We're off! Like, no, 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 no. And all of those places were threatened. That is rather handy in an unfortunate way. The airship company may have travel records for them as well. I'll put out a general alert to all army posts to watch for her parents as well. Should they pass through any of the gay checkpoints, we should know. Thanks, Colonel. Sounds like you can take the job after all. Colonel, you have my leave. You have my leave. You may leave the investigation itself to us. I presume you'll... Want uh, the final report in paper and in person, however. Yes, we prefer to avoid telephones to avoid any risk of interception. You'll be able to find me at the Herb Royal Villa getting tomorrow, actually. I'm sorry for the extra trouble, but could I ask that you bring the final report there in person? Sure. We'll see you at the villa once we know what's up. I wish you luck, then. After seeing Colonel Sid out, Stell's team decided to split up to investigate. Stell's in Olivia and Chloe, but I head to the embassies, Council Castle, and the Labelle News. Our Charizard would investigate the Cathedral Hotel and Airship Company on her own. Okay, we'll be heading out. Tita, Ren, sorry to leave you two behind. Wait, we're actually leaving her behind, okay. Oh, it's okay. We're going out shopping. Uh, what? Sorry, Estelle. Ren really wants to visit the department store. Why, that's not how I remember things, Tita. As I recall, you were the one who said she wanted to... Look at all the stuffed animals. Oh, Ren. <laughs> well, um, I know you're bored, Ren. But since I'm not sure we'll find out something about your parents, I'd like for you two to wait here. Double dots. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Double doe eye stares. I don't really see a problem, Estelle. If teacher's with her, it should be safe enough to let them go out shopping and around the city. I guess so. Okay. Tita, Ren, try not to bang the table. We'll be back by this evening, so you need to be back by then too, okay? And the capital's really a really big place, so don't get lost. We will. And we won't. Ren, let's go. After you. See you, everyone. <laughs> they sure became fast friends. Yeah, it's really easy to become friends at that age. Man, you I feel all old now. Although, teacher and the end together. Why does the combination send a chill of doom down my spine? Oh, I think they'll be fine. It is kind of easy to push around, though. Get the feeling that I might try to drag her into all kinds of stuff. That might be a good point. Ah, yes, Ellen. Did you find out the names of Ren's parents? It took a little insistent asking, but she eventually gave them. 
My father is a trader from Crossbell. Oh, what? Uh, Cr Crossbell. Never heard of it. Harold and Sophia Hayworth are their names. Trader from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia Hayworth. Okay, got it written down. As do I. So, let's start asking around about them and these letters. So remember, Stairs Group will visit the embassies, Gladstone Castle, and the Bell News. Zin Olivier, we'll be counting on your aid at the embassies. Fear not, my brilliant smile can open any door. We'll make sure you see the ambassadors. Your Highness, your help would be invaluable at the Gladstone Castle. Please introduce Estelle to whoever can best help our investigation. Of course. As for the Lavelle news, I believe you yourself have an in for that, Estelle. Something about faults. Yeah, I can bug faults and Nyan about it. Kind of owes me at this point. And that leaves the Cathedral, the Airship Company, and the Ruin Balm. Sherazard, good luck with those. I shouldn't have too much trouble. I'll try to be quick. So let's go. Time to get questioning then. Where should we start? I don't think it matters too much. If you want to go to the Calavardian Embassy? You got a free pass with me around. Got hiccups. I could introduce you to Elsa whenever. I, of course, can get us into the Emerbonian Embassy. They should be glad to escort us if I introduce myself at the gate. And of course, I rather doubt it'll be very hard for me to get us into the uh, Grand Castle. Might be wise to simply go straight there and speak with the Grand. With with the Grand Master as well as the with Grandmother. I don't doubt the Lebel News will give us any trouble either, so... Eh, let's just pick a direction and go. Oh, do you wonder, like, did we... This is this thing I need, I'm putting that out to you. Like, did we miss any, like, major, important, significant moment with Ren? If so, I'll go back, load a save, and we'll see it. But, if we didn't, if it's just flavor text, like, like we had in some of these places when we went in the shops and stuff like that. If that's all we were going to get, then it's fine. We can move on. It's, like, it's, it's not significant. But if there's anything significant, please do let me know, because I, I think we should see it. So, I leave that up to you. But let's at least finish our rounds, what we're meant to be doing. It's just force of habit I went into the Bracer Guild. An non-aggression pact binding these three countries. A very powerful sounding idea. A time will come for we, the Fisherman Guild, to open branches, branches, yep, branches in the Empire and the Republic. When that time comes, we hope to proudly represent our values on an international scale like you embrace us. It's my little ambition. Well, um, good luck. Thinking about it, it was really terrible on us uh, during the coup d'etat. Day after day of incredible fishing weather, but we were forbidden from going out at night. To us, it was like torture. Oh my. Fishing is a fight with nature. Refuse every bit of your talent. It's common for things to not go as you think. <laughs> That's what's so great about fishing. Very well. Just want to see if anyone else has said anything. Like, oh, it's easy now. Is that non aggression? Some kind of medicine. I'm wearing of it. it. Doesn't sound very yummy. Rather, it was something tasty, not medicine. See, like these guys have updated. I'm a little embarrassed, you guys. Dear, dear. Welcome. How about a delicious crepe? I mean, yeah. You know, if you're lost, you can just ask me. I'm born and bred the Grantsel boy. Cavalry nemesis. I mean, you've told me this before. Make sure you don't get lost. When I heard the Queen was ill, and I thought I'd fallen over where I was. Does the Karishad man have any shame? Some of this stuff seems like it's looped back. I've got the money I set aside for change at home today. It was a bit of trouble for my customers. Yeah, my life has been nothing but a parade of misfortune. Uh -huh. You know, the Imperial and the Republican ambassadors? I've seen the pair in public before, but both seem like they very much have their own... Indio idiosyncrasies. Hmm. It's that sort of thing like, I feel like we should do the rounds again from this start. I had a big fight with Tom. Lately he's been fixing and fixing. He hasn't helped around here at all. Keeps doing that even though we're getting customers to buy replacements with lift sales. It's practically like paying him to lose business. 
I'm not wrong. We may have been called a factory, but we're still a shop. Gotta make money to survive. I love seeing people smile when they get back something important and repaired. I just don't understand that. Like, again, it's like, like if the customer's happy, they'll keep coming back. I mean, yeah, you are the only open factory I've seen around in this entire town, but still. Apparently, Tom at the factory had a fight with the manager, Zacharias. Oh, they always kind of gotten along poorly, but... Oh, dear. Maybe we should investigate them and see what's happening with them. Ah, where's the factory again? Let's see if anyone catches on to that. Maybe I'll go home and take a nap. I wonder why eating makes me so sleepy. Food coma. Happens to all of us. Maybe it's because the signing ceremony is near. It seems as if the city is a lot more lively. The non-aggression pact. Don't know the details, but peace is best, of course. If our weapons are only used to fight monsters. I was up all night during the martial arts competition. Also, I could score two of the best seats to me and Pate. Part of me is happy to do something for her, but if I'm just feeding into her selfishness, I feel like I'm being pulled by the string. By the strings more than ever before. Hmm. Shady. I wonder who'd come out on top in a match between Captain Schwarz and Brigadier General Bright. Oh, this is a toughy Time to do some research. Time to sow some research, you said. But I, naturally, all I have to do is sweet talk my husband to scouting out one of the, the army's training sessions. I mean, we can just tell you. I, I, I know who. What should we eat for dinner? You just ate, didn't you? So fun, I don't want to think about anything. It's the same. Just between you and me, I've even petitioned the Queen and asked her to pardon Colonel Richard. It's been a while since the coup, and I thought about it a lot, but I just can't believe the Colonel is just some villain. Welcome, welcome to the Sunny Berlin! Are you Olivier, the guy I asked to perform on the piano one a while back? <laughs> Indeed. It's been a while. What are you doing here today? No, oh, say not such cruel words. The bittersweet few days I spent here with you. To a lonely travelling performer, they were truly a single ray of light illuminating an eternal dark. So unable to forget you, I have returned like a migrating bird seeking the warmth of the sun. <laughs> Same as always. If you don't have anything else to do, I wonder if I could ask you to play the piano again? <laughs> but of course. Don't mind. Olivia, if you're lacking anything to do, mind giving the piano a spin? Can you do that? Oh. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. Yep, 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 yep. That foul coup d'etat was unfortunate, but thankfully. Awful nothing came of it. I hope the non-aggression pact signing ceremony ends on a high note. I'm sure we'll be all right now the Brigadier General Bright's back with the Royal Army. Now, now, your blood pressure could start acting up again. Take a seat and wait. I'm going to put on some tea. Ah, lovely. Yes, it'll be very relaxing. Lovely. Check in the brace guild, check on some quests. Ah, the missing exhibit, the History Museum. A bit ago, one of our exhibits was removed by someone. It's not a particularly valuable item, so it's just a prank. But I would like to ask for an investigation just to be safe. Please come to our museum, East Block, near the landing port. Museum director. Why? That's suspicious. As we discussed, Estelle, please go to the Imperial and Republican embassies. Against the castle and the Lebelus and see faults while you're there. But the embassies in Olivia will be counting on you. As with the Garantz of Castle Princess, if you would. Very well. A uh, little cut there. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check something with how the game is with Ren. Like, can I actually leave to another location? Can I go? No, I can't. Simple as that. I can't I can't go to another location. So it's like, okay, so all I need to do is actually just check the fisherman's guild. That's literally the only location left I had with the rounds with Ren. So let's do it. 
Ah, welcome. Ahem, welcome even. We, the Fisherman's Guild, are determined and dedicated to our quest to catch the guardians that exist within the pearl. Why are guardians? Hmm, basically big fish. It's the reason there are so many fans of fishing in the pearl. Blend, did you ever fish with your papa? <laughs> no, Estelle. Fishing's for kids and guys, right? Uh, guess. But I do it. It's pretty fun. Really? Well, maybe I'll try it then. If you like fishing, you should come here. It was well compassionate use into our ranks. <laughs> Get up here, then, you two. Fishermen's Guild members are ranked according to their successes. People who manage to land a guardian are called Master Fishers and get a special card. People like me, who are still newbies, are just amateur fishers. Incidentally, the headman of the Fisherman Guild has a rank all of his own. It's called the Avid Angler. Pretty cool, huh? I suppose. I bet you think the Grantsel isn't great for fishing. There's so few water sources, right? But surprise, there's a great little spot right next door. Do you know Rommel Pond near the Royal Villa? There's a lot of fish in that little spot. I do, I do. Right, so, that's that's us done for this part then. In the next part, we'll start doing the rounds, but we'll obviously do the embassies and get little scenes along the routes as well. So we shall see you then. Ta-ta. For now. Facing the wrong way. <laughs>